Diesel is in disgrace. Not only had he been very rude to poor Toby, he had smashed into the fat controller's brand new paint store, reducing it to matchwood. Sir Topham Hatt is furious. Due to your couldn't care less attitude, not only have I got to have a new paint store built, you're going to have to go away to be mended, which leaves me one engine short. Fortunately, I've managed to find a direct replacement for you. His name is Paxton. He's another class away diesel shunting locomotive. I do hope he turns out to be better than you. Diesel is then left alone to contemplate the error of his ways. A short while later, a fitter arrives to clean the paint off Diesel's face. I don't think this paint's ever going to come oh, off. Stop fidgeting, will you? I'm going to get paint in your eyes. Diesel's replacement, Paxton, then arrives to tow Diesel away for repair. Hello Diesel, I'm Paxton. I'm going to your placement while you're being mended. How on earth did you end up in this mess? Uh, it wasn't really my fault. The other engines never liked me. <laughs> they left oil on the rails for me to skid on. I'm sure if Diesel's nose had not been so long already, it would have grown a lot more. But Paxton was a trusting soul and he'd been given a job to do. He coupled up behind Diesel and towed him away to the workshop. The other engines on the railway are horrified to see that Sir Topham Hatt has bought another Class 08. Hello? And they are sure that he's going to be just like Diesel. Whenever they meet him, they look the other way and do their best to ignore him. Hello? However, Paxton soon wins them over. They find him a friendly and polite engine who is always willing to please. He helps out Percy with shunting. Hello Percy, I'm Paxton. How can I help you today? And fetch his coaches for the passenger trains. Hello Emily, lovely to see you. I'm Paxton and I've brought your coaches. The railway is once again a happy and contented place. But several weeks later, Diesel returns. He is met by Sir Topham Hatt. Now, Diesel, what have you got to say for yourself? I've, I'm very sorry, sir. I've decided to give you a second chance. Now don't let me down this time. For the next few days, a subdued Diesel keeps his head down and gets on with whatever task is given to him. The other engines start to believe that he might be a reformed character. Diesel seems to have learned his lesson. He's proving to be quite useful. It is difficult to believe, but I have to agree with you. One day, Diesel spots a lone truck at the end of a siding. Scruffy is a known troublemaker, so no one ever wants to use him and he's been left at the end of the siding for some time. 
This means that unlike the other trucks, he has not been regularly maintained and his couplings are very rusty. Diesel has been told to leave him there and not to use him in a train. Uh, why are you never used? Don't know. They've just been mean to me. I'd love to go out for a spin one day. Could you arrange it? You poor misunderstood truck. Leave it with me. I'll see what I can do. A long train of 30 trucks needs to be taken up the spiral to Stoke Prior. Now normally a Class 08 diesel electric shunting locomotive would be able to handle a train of this length with ease, but the gradient up to Stoke Prior is vicious and is made all the more difficult as the curves are tight. Paxton is given the task of pulling the train and Diesel is asked to assist by pushing from the rear. Diesel decides that this will be a perfect opportunity to sneak Scruffy into the middle of the train. With so many trucks in the train, he's sure that no one will notice another one. They set off and initially everything goes smoothly. But Diesel has been a prankster all of his life and he just can't help playing tricks on the other engines if an opportunity arises. He waits until Paxton starts up the gradient and then he stops. Dead. <laughs> Paxton won't have a clue I'm no longer pushing. <laughs> I'll call him a weakling. It'll be a good laugh to see him red in the face with his wheels spinning for going nowhere. In spite of no assistance from Diesel, Paxton reaches the top of the spiral, but without an engine pushing from the rear, Scruffy's rusty coupling cannot handle the load and it snaps. The rear half of the train starts to roll backwards down the gradient, slowly at first, but then gathering speed. Diesel watches mesmerised, frozen to the spot as the trucks hurtle towards him. Everything seems to be happening in slow motion. He closes his eyes and then feels an immense pain, just like someone has punched him in the nose. When he opens his eyes, the world has been rotated through 90 degrees and in front of him is a heap of mangled trucks. Um, oh, I've got a sneaky feeling that the top of my hat's not going to like this. Oh, I think I might be in the spot of bother.